I calculate your odds of survival at 32.3333%. Repeating, of course. Please, reconsider. You don't have to activate that. I might be able to do something. It'll take more than that to stop me. The map. I must fix this myself. Damn it, door's locked. I cannot sit idly by while you attempt to use that. Good. On schedule. But sufficient for this task, I believe. Typical. This should be easy. to succeed here. We only truly appreciate sight when it is gone. It shouldn't take much longer now to finish things up. you get this far? I cannot let you live. myself.
doors here have to be locked. Got a locked door here. Over soon. Uh -oh. These creatures should never have been made, but at least they be useful here. William, help me finish this. Oh. Oh. Make jokes about my name. Oh. The next area should see to your demise. Even as you fight, your end draws closer.
find you. This took some time, but at least it is done. Hi guys, French Repair. So I just finished this game. This fucking incredible game. Uh, you may not feel like it from watching the, the game, I, I have no idea, I didn't watch the footage yet. <laughs> but uh, man, I was struggling so hard, I was having a hard time just keeping up with them. <laughs> like really, they, uh, uh, that's all I was trying to do basically, uh, not in Aware 1. <coughs> I believe in Aware 1, the very surprising, surprising na nature of my build really helped me. And, by, and, and really carry the area one that we are not expecting traps at all and dogs maybe but because there were traps and dogs they couldn't manage to to do good against both at the same time <coughs> apparently so thanks to that I, 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 I like area one was very good for me <coughs> just one thing I haven't played Mastermind for a while, so I, I'm really rusty. So maybe I'm just very rusty, and um, and usually I would have keep up easily, but I don't think so. I think they were really hard to keep up with, and I'm rusty too. So that was like super hard for me. This game was was tough. It was not easy at all. Like you have no idea. I, mean, I think you can see this in everywhere too. They just they were just too fast, and I racked it badly. I did not protect you weak at all. I was super late, I don't know. <coughs> well. So yeah, now the build. My analysis about it. Beastmaster, I did not want to use this, I wanted to use Fury. Not sure why I have this here. With Fury I've I think what I what I'm searching for with this build, my idea, Fury would be perfect for it. Because it doesn't matter how good you are with William, sometimes at some point you often have to release him. You have seen it in this game, uh, sometimes I just get to my core because they well because they still lock me like fucking like a hundred times or something like that. I mean I don't know, I'm surprised they did not kill my Birkin because they sh like did so much damage to me. They still lock me I don't know if, uh, thirty times total. Like probably, uh, like uh, I was just trying to hold them with Birkin. I was not 
even thinking of trying to kill them because there was no way. First case were too good. And I don't think they needed swing point video to to be that good. I think they were just I mean I know some of his names. Uh, some of them play Mastermind too and they are good at it. <laughs> so they're, first case were good. <laughs> Anyways, so Fury. This uh, I guess I mean they didn't care about that in MR2. <laughs> so yeah, Fury would have been much better. Defense did its job. In MR3, I was not able to use a concentrated NNC a lot. <laughs> but um, I believe that uh, the few times I was able to use it, concentrated NNC uh, combined with defense, that was very helpful. I was My dogs did a very good job when they were hit by this. I know that because I, I've seen, you know, the timer, like, I was taking a lot of time by doing nothing, so my dogs were doing were doing great in MR3. Epsilon, Epsilon strain did good, as expected. That was really good too. <coughs> so yeah, the dog side of my build did its job. Now, the second side, the trap side. What about the traps? I think they did their job too. In MR3, uh, in MR2, I, 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 yeah, in MR2, I really fucked up. Like, the whole thing, they were just too hard to keep up with to me because I'm rusty and because they are good. <clears throat> but in our one, uh, in our one, and in our three, <clears throat> you can see my traps did their job. This one shock trap and airbus trap they really shined. They slow them down like the whole game, especially at calls. <clears throat> really amazing traps. So the dogs were good. So traps did good in my opinion. I mean, what do you think? They did their job. Um, that's what I need for my traps and <clears throat> so yeah. I, if you have seen my previous video, I changed a few cards. I added the crawling zombie instead of, I don't know. But basically, in our one, you can see that I, I just cover my traps with the crawler. <laughs> and that was very helpful because they, they were like shit. They couldn't shoot my traps sometimes, you know, because there was a crawling zombie on it. In fact, it is even better. <clears throat> oh yeah, I added back the enhancing vapor. Um, Mr. Dickus on my command told me that yeah this was this is just better. My idea was to use um <coughs> this, but yeah that would have been a mistake, so thank you and uh, yeah, this worked really well. Uh yeah. I also removed um trap efficiency efficiency mod traps. I don't really need it, I mean this one cost a free free two and one, but I have discount. This count is doing its job like really well too. So yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, now the third side of the build. Like early working, power limiter mod and system maintenance mod too. As expected, I, I got him very often and he was able to, you know, just waste a lot of my time. And that's all I was able to do. <laughs> they were just kicking my perky, you know, like... They were just kicking his ass the whole time, still locking him the whole duration of uh, <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. I could not like I could not manage to kill one of them, but which is too good. You know. With I guess Birkin. But he was still taking a lot of time because this thing doesn't die <laughs> luckily. So yeah. So yeah, that's uh here it is for you. The combo, early Birkin, next time with Fury that would be so much better. Early Birkin, Traps and Dogs. Uh, really interesting game, uh, I believe, uh, with, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, very interesting game, and very tough game for me, to be honest. Damn, that was so hard. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, hope you uh, you enjoyed um, this uh, initial bit, which is to me, it's, it may be my best to build with a uh, well, with a net. Oh yeah, one thing. Think, just think about it. This chill uh, had a rocket launcher quite often. <coughs> there was a Tyron and he was using that um, new weapon to stun lock zombies. Uh, there was a Valerie and there was um, I don't know about the fourth one. <coughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Martin. And Martin had the. <laughs> oh yeah, Martin had the. The quick cooldown with his uh, flashbang. So if I was playing a zombie build, just tell me what would have happened. You think? In my opinion, if I was playing a zombie build here, 
I would have get destroyed. First guys where where like had everything they need to to kill creatures like they were ready for it. So yeah, I think this is better than the creature build just because of the meta. People just are just ready to kick creatures' ass, you know, and this is different. Anyways, uh, yeah, this guy is who would have probably beat me also on another map. I mean, they were, they were just really good. I guess I was lucky to get present too. Um, this helped a lot. The energy, obviously, and the biocontrollability, I mean, it was very, very helpful in area 3. Literally everything in this build um, helped me in area 3. Just really good. But, um, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.